Our next speaker is a lead blogger at AnnArbor.com and writer of the Creative Friday column. Let's hear it for Ed Vilmetti. So in case you're wondering what I'm going to talk about, um, so am I, because I blacked it out when I wrote it, the talk, and I don't know. It's uh, the anatomy of redaction. So redaction is a technique that's used um, mostly by governments to deal with the problem of information. And the problem of information is that you have too much of it, and you need to produce some of it to someone else. Uh, the example from this is from World War II, uh, where uh, Catch-22 tells the story of Eusarian who was forced to censor uh, things uh, that were secrets. That's J. Edgar Hoover. And uh, in doing this, he said, death to all modifiers uh, that passed through his hands. Out of every letter that passed through his hands, every adverb and adjective was removed. Just whacked them out with the sharpie. So one of the reasons that we have redaction is we have uh, officials that keep secrets. And uh, the reaction to that was to produce a law called the Freedom of Information Act which forced government to open up at least a little bit. Now, FOIA is the worst possible search engine in the world. It's like sending a postcard to the government and hoping to get something back sometime. And one of the things that comes back is stuff that gets blacked out with a Sharpie. And it may be a virtual Sharpie, it may be an electronic Sharpie, but basically the idea is that you're not allowed to see some fraction of the things that a other organization has to protect the people who are involved for national security, because it might be embarrassing to someone to protect personal privacy. Occasionally, the redaction cross card of the government and hoping to get from the Ann Arbor Chronicle, you'll notice that the, uh, the auto sharpening photocopier unredacted the very text that was being redacted by the agency. Um, if you're more clever and you actually have a physical document that's been redacted, you may be able to use advanced technology means like uh, multispectral imaging. This is a reconstruction of a moldy old piece of paper uh, with a uh, good camera. If you have documents that have ink on them, uh, you can use the uh, advantage that um, uh, Sharpies dissolve in methanol, but uh, toner cartridges don't. So you can just dissolve your Sharpie away and reconstruct things. But that's not always what happens. Sometimes you get back the results digitally and clean digitally, where the reports, this is a traffic crash report, get sanitized electronically, the bits are gone. But uh, the date of birth of the person in the crash is still there, their zip code is still there, and by God, you might have another database that has those two pieces of information in it, say a voter registration file, and so be able to figure out the name of that poor person with the green Honda in the crash. Or maybe you have a file full of Honda part numbers, and you can see who I got one the crash. Uh, the, the best example of this, uh, Netflix had a Netflix challenge where they released a bunch of anonymized data, and uh, the clever hackers found out that they could match up IMDb movie reviews with the Netflix uh, mm -hmm. records and uh, figure out what people rented. The more dangerous part of this is when governments try to keep people's identities secret, and they fail to redact properly. So poor Ernest Columbus Withers uh, used to have two FBI files, and uh, they uh, let go of his code number. And that was enough for uh, earnest reporters to match that up with thousands of other pages of FBI files that, that had been released, and to expose this photographer, uh, as a, who was a civil rights photographer, as an FBI informant. So there's a very big danger in, in doing it wrong. And you can do it um, in so many different ways. You can uh, do it right in so many different ways. This is an example from the uh, Electronic Frontier Foundation of two documents, both released by the same agency, one with lots of stuff wiped out, one with a little bit of stuff wiped out. You can't, you can't know without having every other record that's ever been released by these agencies know which piece of that stuff that they blacked out was legitimately wiped out, or was hiding some other secret that some other database was trying to keep track of. So it's, very, it's a very difficult problem to release just what you want. And the, the real key is this, if you're going to black things out, you black them out completely. If you have really good eyesight, you can't, you can't copy of this secret newsletter. You can read it underneath the blacked out ink in there. The, the biggest example of this recently in the, in the news is WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks uh, has an enormous trove of secret documents but they've been releasing them very slowly. Very slowly because 
the news agencies involved in the release know very clearly that they can't simply do wholesale release of documents. Even though these are secret government documents, they still have to redact out the names themselves. So, I have my Sharpie if you need an autograph. Thanks very much. <laughs>